What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to open SSH your iPhone 5, iPhone 4, as pretty much any device that is on iOS 6 and is jailbroken. This also works for previous iOS's and yeah, it's pretty simple really. So first thing you want to do is um, go to your settings and write down your IP address. So there is a method of doing this without wireless, so um, you can either google that or just wait for my video, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, but back to the video. So you get your IP address right here. You want to jot that down. So once you got that done, go to Cydia. All right. Go to search. And just type in open SSH. All in one word. There you go. It's free. You pretty much just install it. And that's pretty much what all you have to do from your iPhone side. So let's put that down. All right. So on our desktop side, we're going to have our uh, program to download. So for this instance, you could either use CyberDuck, which will, works for both Mac and Windows, or you can use WinSCP, which, which is the one I use. They're both free, so you don't have to pay for anything. So once you get it downloaded and onto your desktop, you want to go ahead and double-click it. All right, so we're going to get this window. What, what you want to do is make a new account or a new login. So click on new. Alright, for the username you're gonna put in root R O O T and then password's gonna be Alpine A L P I N E all lowercase. <clears throat> you don't really need to change anything else. For hostnet you're gonna put in the IP address that you copy down from your um, iPhone or any other device you were using. So just write that down, make sure it's correct. So Alright, once you got those down, you're just going to click on login or you can just save it, it's up to you. Now you should get like a window saying yes or no, just click on yes and it'll just bring you up this window which is pretty much open SSH. That's all you got to do guys, it's pretty simple and from here you can pretty much do anything like add in themes, like add, install um, applications and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, that's about it guys. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any more questions, post a comment. And if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. Thanks.